What's going on YouTube? Hockey 914 here, back again with another video. In today's video, we plan to continue exploring Hia, Hitty, Hia, Hia City. Um, in the last episode, we made our way here, and Lily's going to the shop right away. So let's see what she's got in store for us. Oh, Puck! You looking for new clothes? Well, I was doing that, but this little fellow can hardly stay still. We know he might be interested in viewing the ruins of life. Apparently, they call a sacred guardian to Akala Island, called Tapu Lele. Pew pew! I wondered if you'd like to come with us when you go visit the ruins. I mean, little Nubby seems to quite like you a bit. I'll be at the Tide Song Hotel if you won't come to reach me. I'm supposed to be meeting someone there, someone very important to me. It's alright, I can see the building from there. I shouldn't even be able to lose my way, I think. Alright, so she's gonna go there. Um... No! Oh, Nebby! Nebby, you're so cute. She's... Nebby is so cute. I love Nebby. I've heard that there's a group of terrible people who try to steal a Pokemon at a Pokemon team, a group called Team Skull. We need to be careful if we want to escape notice with such a collection of villains, isn't that right? Yeah, I've already dealt with them like three times. Where have you been? What do you want? Hello, sweetie. Here's a sweet from me. Sweet. We got another rare candy. That's like number three or four. Okay, so it looks like there's a Pokemon Center. What do you want, kid? Lola's full of blue skies. Sick. My job is to take hotel guests out for walks and exercise. Sorry, but my stout one's real through and like to uncover every last stone. Okay, so we need to go to the hotel. They're like, no, nope, no, nope, you're not going to go that way. Am I healed up? I think I am. That I am. Okay. Let's go ahead and continue on up to the hotel then. I guess. If we have to. Before you attempt your trial, you probably want to get ready in Penella one last time. When I take her out before, so you can make it there. Stop right there! Hey, this is Dex and what's her face? Haha, <laughs> we didn't mean to surprise you, Miss Doing Your Island Challenge. I'm Dexio. My name's Cena. What a beautiful name for a beautiful lady. We're here in the sights of Alola. It's a unique tradition of Island Challenge. It's quite fascinating, I must say. <laughs> I've got an idea. You and Dexio should battle. <laughs> and why should we do that? Though I might want to test my skills. Is that alright with you? Let's do it. Hey, we battled Dexio. I don't think we battled him in the in X and Y, did we? I might have. I don't know. Going. Rock roof. Go go. All right. Let's see. Fight. Rockcraft's a little under leveled, but we should be okay. Oh, it's gonna hurt. We might not be okay. Okay, so he lived. He took one. So we are going to switch out. Um, let's go out into... I don't want to go out to Brion, but I feel like I should. Alright, let's go out into... We're going to go out into... Yo, what's his face? Crab Brawler. <laughs> He's got such a basic cry. It's just like... Hey. The only movie has a super effective as Pursuit, but we'll just go for it. Mm. Oh, we're dead. There's no way he's eating that up. He ate it up. We're going for it. All out pummeling. Do it! It'll be my first Z move, people. Well, it took us like 12 battles after we can do it to finally use one. Uh. Punch him. A lot. I don't know how much it's going to do, because it's not very effective, but it's like a last ditch effort to try to knock him out, so. It'll be worth a try. That did nothing. It looks like he should have been destroyed. <laughs> now he's dead. That's okay. You did good. It was kind of cool to see the uh, Z-move used for the first time. Um, did we, we outspeed? I think we did. I think I can take it out with a bite. Go rock rough. Come, come. Let's see, can we kill it with a bite? 
Uh. Oh, it lived. We got the flinch. I like it. Dexio looks so weird because, like, his body's, like, crossed. I don't see how he could stand in that position for very long and still be comfortable. Grubbin's at level 15. I think he should be evolving soon. I don't know what level he evolves, though. He's got an Espeon. We're going to stay in. Just for the experience. And then we're going to switch out into Grubbin because he's a bug type. And bug bite will hurt. Espeon, pretty bad. Espeon, remember, is this that? Still... What? That's not even fair. I thought we resisted it, to be honest. But that does give me a clean switch into Brion. And we are like right on par level wise. This game's scaling, like level scaling, is pretty good, it seems. That's gonna do a lot, I think. Oh no, we ate that up. We learn a better water type attack yet? I wanna learn like surf or bubble beam or something better. So we we're at least able to take two more um, of those confusions. Cause then I'll live on oh never mind, no I can't, because that one was a max roll. If they would have kept doing 13, I would have, but not anymore. So we're gonna go ahead and heal up quick. Gonna use a super potion, get back up to 53. All right. Now we should be able to knock him out, I think with two more water guns. Even though if I take him like deep into the red, I can just use aqua jet, because then I'll outspeed it and I don't have to eat another. Yeah, we'll just use aqua jet to knock him out. Gone. Perfect. So we took out Espeon. That was a lot harder than I thought it would be. But we did it. <laughs> it's all that matters. Wants to learn Encore? Nah, let's not learn Encore. Should have taught it over Palm. That's okay. That's okay. Rockruff grew two levels. Perfect. Lolo trainers have a different charm than those in Kalos. That's what I expect from a trainer doing the Island Challenge. I felt the bond between you and your Pokemon. I feel like I've been able to get a glimpse of the Island Challenge. Thank you. You knocked out half of my team. I'm going to go to the Ultimate Team. The battle reminded me of the past. A group of five young trainers. I wonder who that is. So we got the Zygarde Cube. Um, this item I just gave you is collecting cores of cells of Pokemon Zygarde. I'll tell you details another time, so please keep safe for now. For your Island Challenge, it might not be a bad idea to go out for to train your Pokemon. Bon voyage. God, they're so like, they definitely have like a touristy look to them. I like it. So, I want to explore this. It's got wishy washies on the wall and brook fishes and stuff. Tai Tom Hotel, I interviewed for a job at the other place and got rejected. Oh. This is a beautiful hotel. Holy crap. Corsola. Lily looks like, oh, Puck. The person I looked for, those teams looks like I got scared. I was trying to avoid them, and I think I ended up missing my meeting. It's fine. They're actually where I wanted to be. Will you go over another trial from where I think the nearest trial site's up Route 4? Okay, so that's our hint. Let's go to Route 4. I don't think there's too much here yet. I feel like this is definitely a place that can't just be that. So, I think this is Route 4 up here. Yes, it is. New route means new Pokemon. What do we got here? Lola and Rattata. Which is very true to what the uh, Pokedex sex, sex says because it does say that the Pokemon Rattata is everywhere. So. These ones are a little bit stronger though. The ones that we faced back home. 
If I don't kill him, I'm just gonna run away. Cause he's gonna have crits with defense drops. Mm. Gone. All right, let's go ahead and keep moving on. Keep on keeping on. Got a great ball. Nice, nice. Let's see what else can we find here? Trainer tips. Even among they'll have different strengths. Okay. Let's battle him. Is he a chef? You don't have to ring the bell. Yep. I was like, is that is that a chef? Because it kind of looks like it. It's a bellhop, actually. It's not a chef. Okay. It's got a Drifloon. I love Drifloon. He's so cute. Let's go ahead and bite. Bite should two hit KO this Drifloon. Man, dude, all of these people are coming from my throat. Perfect. One more should knock him out. It's into just half. That's gonna be not very effective. Oh, poor Rockruff. That was a crit? Ugh. I don't like these crits. Handing a handing having to hand over my pocket money rather than giving a tip. That's right. Don't you forget it. Taking all your money. And I wonder how you get back to the first island. I don't know if I can go back at any time. <gasps> Yo. <laughs> I know a lot of people don't get that excited over Mudbray. But he is probably my favorite of the new gen Pokemon. Mudbray. Besides Jagma O. But I love Mudbray. Rototiller. It sounds like a little, like, baby Clydesdale. It's so cute. <laughs> Oh, I love Mudbray. He's so cute. Alright. Let's just use Mud Slap. Oh, I'm switching out. Okay. On that note, Rock Rub just got bodied. Um, I'm going to go out to Crab Brawler, and I'm just going to Brick Break the left mud braid to knock him out and then I can hopefully catch the one on the right hopefully he doesn't call anybody in uh! the two hit KO oh and his defense rose okay oh bubble might kill them both but we'll see Okay. That was a physical move? I thought Bubble was special. Alright, Crab Brawler is level 15. Good news. Good news is. Please don't call in help. Please don't call in help. Okay, thank you. I love Mudbray though. Mudbray is so cute. Two. Three. Caught him. Perfect. I love it. And if I believe correctly, I'm pretty sure that Clyde Mudsdale is busted. His Pokedex thing is so cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. The mud stuck in his hooves enhances its grip for powerful running gait. Oh, we don't want to give him a nickname. Oh. Sorry, Alolan Grimer. Gonna have to replace you, though. Alolan Grimer is gonna be replaced with my boy Mudbray. Perfect. Hey, a Zygarde Cube. Nice. Cena wants to talk to you. I just received signal from your Zygarde cube. The creature I got sucked in is what we call a Zygarde cell. The cube I gave you is nest. The mission is to collect all the cells and cores. We'll get in touch. Bon chance. I love their use of French. We got an adrenaline orb. 
Now, this thing is really good for SOS hunting. Um, what it is is a version of shiny hunting where you call in, where they call in the help. The adrenaline orb, ooh, a lily pup, increases the, I think, the chances for them to call in help. So, something that's very good to use, especially like when hunting and stuff. That's right. Uh. I like the hypercutter ability that Crab Brawler has. That way, I'm not going to lose my attack at all. And you can keep doing that all you want, because I think it's going to work. <laughs> it's so adorable. Okay, that lily pup's getting blown away. Sorry, but I am not having this. Thought I told you, lily pup. Yo, that's adorable! Too bad hypercutter, it's not gonna do anything. I think each Pokemon has like a different like chance, like percentage chance that it'll call help in. And I think that's really cool too, that it gives each Pokemon its kind of own unique personality. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's the way it works. But three. Hey, we caught Lily Pup. We did it. I feel like this is going to be a very long Let's Play. Um, just because I am taking all this time to catch Pokemon and have fun and enjoy the game. So, I hope you guys are enjoying it. I know it's not like as intense. It's kind of laid back. It's a laid back Let's Play, but... We got 10% of the Pokedex already. Because it, does yell, because it doesn't yelp, it's very popular with trainers who live in apartment buildings. Cool. I didn't know they had apartments in the Pokemon world, but... That would be cool, like, if you started off as, like, a kid that lived in a... We're gonna battle this guy. If you, like, started off by living in an apartment, like... I think that'd be pretty cool. I was trying to see if Rockruff could learn anything, but I do want to use... A revive on him. As you guys probably noticed, I was kind of leaning towards using a rare candy on him. But I'm not going to right now, um, just because I want to ensure that... Oh, man, I put that on silent, too. <laughs> I swear, every time I record, there's an ESPN message that goes during the recording session. All right, let's see what he got, bud. I am a collector. Which is to say that I collect Pokemon. I guess that's what a collector would do, you know? Hey, He looks just like the collector in, um, Auras. He's got a Munchlax. Speaking of which, I am going to do that in between episodes. I'm going to go activate that mystery gift, and I'm going to get my Snorlium Z. Oh, Mudbray is so cute. What does Rototiller do? Tilling the soil, the user makes it easier for plants to grow. This raises... Oh, so that'd be really good in, like, double battles. We're just gonna spam bulldoze. That does quite a bit, actually. Get lick. Oh, that's weird. Yo, that is such a weird move animation. Especially because he, like, opens his mouth as his big tongue comes out as... That was a crit and did the same exact amount. Look. Ugh. Of course he gets paralyzed. So we're going to be going into Pokemon Care after this battle. That's for sure. That was a good starting battle for Mudbray. Boring. 217 experience. Trumbeaks at level 17. He's going to set out a bag on. What? I'm going to stay in though. Reason being is because I have plus two defense, so I don't think there's going to be too much that he can do to me. I can probably just bulldoze him to death. Oh, he's got Dragon Breath. Never mind, that's special. That's going to hurt. Actually, I didn't do too much. That's physical? Or is it whenever you're hit with a move? I'm going to have to take a look at his ability. Because I don't know if it's every time he gets hit or every time that he... I mean, that's definitely special. I know Dragon Breath is special. Because 
keeps doing the same amount, so. Where is my super potions? There they are. Alright! Mudbray's back to full health. He used Leer, so he's gonna lower my plus four defense to plus three. What if stamina made it so that you couldn't. Yeah, that does nothing. Oh my god, Mudbray's an animal. He's actually a horse, but he's still an animal. So he knocked out Bagon. Who to level 13? And the rest of our squad, nobody else leveled up. Ah! Oh my god. The 3D-ness of it looks awesome. He looks so sad. All right. Oh. Oh, his mouth is kind of gross. You're adorable. You're so ugly, but yeah, you're so adorable. All right. On that note, we're going to move on. Um, we're going to go a little bit farther right now off today's episode. Not going to get super far because I do spend a lot of time catching Pokemon. So go ahead and get back to where we were. That's a Mudbray. Look at my Mudbray. We're going to run away. Because, you know, that would be a very long battle. Because it seems like Mudbray likes to call and help. So. Are you a trainer? Yeah, you are. We're going to battle him. Oh, right now, apparently. I rely on apps for traveling recommendations. So there's smartphones, too. Cool. Da -da -da -da. Sightseer Scotty. Rattata. Nice. He's got a normal Rattata. That makes sense, because he's not from around here. He's not from Alola, so he's a sightseer. Mudbray, you are going to stop this man to all get out. Damn. Get him. Get him, Mudbray, you animal. He's going to use bite. He's going to eat that up. I'm going to get the defense boost. Should kill him? Didn't kill? Oh my lord. Mudbray. He had one job. Alright, so we knocked him out. Sight Skier Scotty, I think, is done. I think all he had was a Rattata, so. We defeated him. I guess I still haven't mastered the recommended Rattata. Get in touch with Youngster Joey, he'll help you out with that one. But on that note, right in front of this sign is where we're going to end off today's episode. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next video.